How do you stop translating in your head and start thinking in English? These are the two techniques that I personally used to train my brain to start thinking in English. These techniques are very simple, very easy, and very easy to follow. When you apply these two techniques, your brain will literally have no option but to start thinking in English. Welcome to another session of learning and improving your English skills with me. So how do you stop translating in your head and start thinking in English? As an English student myself, I'll admit that I have personally struggled with translating my native language into English directly, thinking in my native language, then translating it directly to English, not actually thinking in English itself. And that really used to drag my speech and slow my speaking down because I think in my native language, take time to translate it to English, then tell it out. Sometimes when I translate directly from my native language, the meaning in English will be totally different. That's why I really had to train and trick my brain to start thinking naturally in English. And I believe that as an English student, you are probably going through the same struggles as well. That is why I am going to share with you the two techniques that I have used to trick my brain, to train my brain to start thinking in English. At this point, when I'm speaking, I don't really have to like think in my native language, then translate it to English, then speak it out. I just think naturally in English. And that's because I've trained my brain to think in English. And you can do that too. And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, this would be the best moment to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my lessons on improving your English skills. And I've noticed that about 90% of learners watching videos, they actually subscribe to the channel, but they don't really like the video. When you like this video, it will really boost this channel. It will also encourage YouTube to push this video to other English learners. And that is my goal to reach as many learners as possible. So if you are watching this video, kindly like this video. So let's get back into the video. The first technique that you must apply for you to actually start thinking in English and stop translating in your head is to stop the habit of translation. Just stop it. Stop translating in your head from your native language to English. Just stop doing it. This is going to be a little challenging for many learners because English is your second language and you are naturally going to find yourself translating from your native language to English. But if you want to train your brain to start thinking in English, you are going to have to deliberately stop translating from your native language. You don't really have to translate from your native language into English. Train your brain to just speak English as it is. And sometimes in English, you might not know the exact name of something or an object you can use some descriptive words to describe what you are actually talking about. You don't have to translate it from your native language into English. For instance, let's say you are talking about a movie theater. You don't know the exact name movie theater. There are several ways that you can use to name the place. For example, you can describe it as a place where we go to watch movies. When you say that, it will automatically click to the person you are talking to that you are talking about a movie theater. So instead of translating names of places from your native language into English, you can use descriptive was just describe what you're talking about. If you can't name it, describe it. You don't have to translate directly from your native language into English. This is going to be very difficult and challenging at first, but over time, gradually and slowly, your brain will start adapting to thinking in English. When you're constantly translating from your native language into English, you are lagging yourself down while talking, you are slowing yourself down while talking, and this will really discourage you from maybe even thinking that you can be fluent in English. So you just have to stop translating from your native language into English. Just think it in English already. And besides, sometimes you find out when you translate a word from maybe your native language into English, it will totally mean something very, very different. It will have a totally different meaning. So you don't really have a choice but to stop translating from your native language to English. Just think it in English already. If you can't name it, describe it. The second technique I want to share with you today is exposing or immersing yourself in English. Exposing and immersing yourself in English will really help you when it comes to thinking 
in English. And this is because you are going to familiarize with English and it will be automatic in your head. Just like your native language, do you really have to think when you're talking your native language? It just comes naturally. It is just automatic. So when you immerse yourself in the English language as long as possible, English will become a part of your system. And by immersing yourself in the English language, I mean listening to as many English podcasts as possible, watching English movies, listening to English music as much as possible, reading English books, reading English journals, changing your phone settings. Some of you, you really want to think in English. You really want to start thinking in English and your phone settings are still in your native language. The best thing to do is to change the settings of your phone, of your laptop, of your computer from your native language into English so that when you receive any notification or text, it will be in English, maybe from Instagram or Snapchat or maybe TikTok. When you have a new follower, the notification will be in English rather than being in your native language. When you do that, you are conditioning your mind to start thinking in English. English will start becoming very and so obvious and automatic in your brain. You can also start keeping your mind active during the day. And what I mean by this is that when you are outside or when you go to the mall or go to the theater or when you're just outside in the park, when you see something or an object, please just name it in English. If you see someone walking their dog, just name it dog, a dog leash, a dog owner. Just name things around you in English when you're in the house. Just name things. Table, cot, kitchen, bedroom, couch. Keep your mind active by naming things around you in English. Apart from naming things around you in English, another tip that will also help you start thinking in English is by constructing simple sentences for example when you are doing something for instance right now i am sitting right i can construct a simple sentence by saying i am sitting i am talking i am looking at the camera i am just construct sentence using the phrase i am what are you doing right now you are watching a video if you're not watching a video let me know what you're doing in the comment section so just start by constructing simple sentences with the phrase i am if you're really serious about starting to think in english let me know in the comment section by commenting what you're doing right now by using the phrase i am i am immersing yourself in english may also mean listening to english passively by listening to english passively i mean listening to english without really having to give a feedback or having to pay much attention to what is being said. For instance, let's say you are doing your dishes or maybe you are cooking. You can put a podcast in the background or an English song in the background so that as you are washing your dishes, as you are cooking, you listen to the music or the English podcast. You don't really have to pay much attention to what is being said or to give feedback to what is being said, but you are just listening Possibly, you're still consuming the English language. So those are basically the two techniques that I have been using as an English learner to help me condition my mind to start thinking in English. So stop your translation habit and start immersing yourself in English. 